Hey fam, how's it going? Hopefully really well. In today's video, I am going to recap my August budget goals and share with you my September budget goals. Let's go. So my first goal up was to put $500 extra to my mortgage principal. And if you saw my last video, you know how that went. Within the month of August, it was not the easiest to pull off. So thankfully I was able to get it done. I will reveal more about that later. Another goal I set was to put that $100 toward my holiday savings. And thankfully I was able to do that as well. Though if I had been $100 short of making my goal for that $500 to my mortgage, I would have forfeited the holiday savings for this month and caught up at a later time. But again, thankfully I was able to get that done too. On my wish list, I said that I wanted to take a vacay and yay! Technically, I took my vacation in September. It was like the first few days of September and it was wonderful. It was thoroughly everything. Relaxing, lovely, needed, as I hope your vacation was as well. I know a few of you said that you were taking vacation as well. It was just, it was needed and I am so thrilled to have been able to go. And as you know, I've been putting away about $200 per pay period into a vacation sinking fund. So I didn't have to use any of my budget. I was able to use that fund to take care of it. That's what I set it up for, pat on the back. I quickly stacked over $1,000 in that account. I was really impressed when I looked at the balance and between room and board, listen to me, room and board, like I'm in college, but between room and board, uh, so between where I was staying, food and other expenditures, I came out to about $328. So I have some more money left in that fund and that's exciting too. Now onto these other two goals. Ciao. The gutters. <clears throat> My month was so busy, I barely even thought about these gutters. I don't know when I'm gonna call out or ask for quotes on getting these gutters, getting estimates for them, but I did not get that completed in August. Hey, week to week, I will put it on my to-do list and I just did not get around to it. At some point, I will get around to getting some estimates for gutters. It just was not in August of 2021. And as far as the items for sale, I had set a goal to post 25 items. And I want you to guess in the comments below, leave in the comments, how many items do you think I posted for sale? Okay, I want you to leave and then I'm gonna answer you in the comments, how many items I posted for sale. Now, I wasn't close. I'm just gonna go ahead and give you that hint. So don't put 24. Now on to quickly, hopefully quickly, why my budget and my time was stretched this month. I had a church event and it took up a lot of my time. I needed to really prepare for that event. I was helping out in a lot of ways and so that took my time and prep. I also sing with a group and we had a couple of events this month. And also my friend, my sis, had a housewarming and baby shower in August. So in August, I kind of signed up to be the social media head for my singing group. So I was taking all these videos and, and shooting videos and then also editing videos for my singing group. I actually completed four videos, two for my singing group and two for the housewarming and baby shower. Of course, they were not debt-free D videos, but I was videoing and editing within the month. I was also training a new associate at work. Yay! So during the week I was really busy and on the weekend I was really busy as well. So that is where I have been as far as how that impacted my budget. After taking all those videos and pictures for the group, I ended up purchasing an external hard drive so I could move all of the group stuff over to that and off of my phone. I also purchased some social media contact cards for the group and between those two things that was over $100, kind of not budgeted for. I also picked up a $100 Lowe's gift card from my girl. So when I say it was a stretch, it was a stretch. But all in all, August went well. Now on to September. September is my consumer debt free anniversary month. Ah! <laughs> oh, can you believe it? Some of you may remember around this time last year, I was dancing it up because I had just paid off my last 
consumer debt. And with that in mind, I am taking a break. Yep, I'm pulling back on that extra principal payment of $500 to my mortgage this month. Now, I may change my mind later. Of course, I'm thinking about my yearly goals and that 5% I had set for myself, but I need a break. And I kind of want the flexibility of really celebrating this month. And I wouldn't mind having a few extra bucks on hand to celebrate one of the best decisions I've made in my life and one of my greatest life achievements in becoming consumer debt free. So as far as goals go, I'm keeping it light. One thing I must do this month is pay my maintenance fees. That should be covered within that vacay sinking fund. So I'm covered there, nothing out of the budget when it comes to that. And I'm still going to try to sell some things. So that along with my ad revenue from the channel will still go towards my mortgage as an extra principal payment. But yeah, I am taking a much needed hiatus from being so goal driven. Again, I may change my mind, but that is where I am right now. Let me know below what you have planned for your September. I'm so proud of us. I'll see you next time.